Good morning, you're watching the news hour and we now take you back to our top story which is happening here in Nairobi. In the next hour or so, Kenya Opposition Coalition Court is due to formally launch its bid to have the 2010 constitution amended through a referendum. Court leader Raila Odinga will lead coalition supporters in presenting some 1.4 million signatures to the Electoral Commission, kicking off a process that could lead to the vote. Raila says his coalition will be pushing for a stronger devolution and and inclusivity in government. The coalition wants at least 45% of national revenue taken to the counties uh, to finance local development. The current constitution provides for just 15%. The bid has been dismissed by the government as unnecessary. And to talk more about this referendum push, joining me in studio is Hassan Omar. He's a Mombasa senator. But he's also the Secretary General Wiper Party, which is one of the parties in the Coalition for Reforms and Democracy. Thank you, Senator. Thank you. For Senator. staying with us. So a big day for CORD today. Talk to us about the journey that has gotten you to this place. We are submitting the signatures to IBC briefly. I remember uh, more than one year ago, we did ask the government of Kenya mm. um, for, for dialogue on a couple of issues that uh, we thought uh, were important for us to reflect upon as a nation, particularly in terms of taking the evolution forward, in terms of exclusivity, uh, in the manner which, which we man manage our government, mm -hmm. but also so issues about, around uh, insecurity, issues around um, uh, land. land. So I think there were a host of issues that now have been narrowed to four key referendum issues, including the exit of the IBC. So I think uh, the journey has started when, uh, when we made a declaration on Saba Saba of last year that we shall pursue this journey now through a referendum. Mm -hmm. And uh, from that point onwards, we launched the bid to be able now to collect signatures. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I do believe that it took uh, a bit longer than we had anticipated because we had to make a verification of almost all the 1.4 million signatures we are going to submit. Right. And I think from today now, we are submitting them to the IBC so that the journey, together with the bill, so that the, 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 the clock can start ticking. So verification, what was happening with court, what exactly did that entail? What is, why did it, you choose to do it and yet IBC will also do the same? Because, you see, um, we wanted to make sure that, that we authenticated the signatures internally mm -hmm. because there's a constitutional requirement that these signatures must be a million. Mm. So if you, for instance, go and you, you have a flawed process of a collection and of the signatures and then find that, uh, you know, uh, 920,000 were authenticated and 80,000 weren't, then you, you run the risk of... Uh, having a futility in terms of your own referendum process, including the credibility uh, of the coalition and Okoa Kenya. And you know, Okoa Kenya is broader than just uh, the, the code coalition. We right. have civil society actors in it and quite a number of other people who have who've decided to give us some, um, some moral support in terms of uh, the push for this constitutional change. So I think it was important for us to set up our own secretariat to go signature by signature and document these things, including, you know, uh, including archiving. Uh, some of this information because okay. you know uh, this information could get lost and you have to go back to square go one. Back. So it, uh, August 27th we just marked five years since this constitution was promulgated. There are those of the school of thought it's still early in the day let the constitution breathe. Yes there are issues but let's wait a little bit longer and then we can talk about a referendum and changes. I, I think the constitution itself did not contemplate upon which point it, it, it can it should be amended or should not be amended. Uh, the constitution gave you that broad uh, latitude to amend it. If you get into a house and you find that there are several leakages. You don't say, let me live in this house for the next 10 years. By that time, you will not be building a house anymore. Or you go to Dichidobi and get a Mercedes, mm -hmm. and you find that there's some leakage or some, some, some malfunctions. You, you, you need to go and fix it immediately. So I think for us, I think for five years duration is, uh, is enough gestation for us to realize where the shoe uh, does, 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 uh, does bite and, uh, mm -hmm. and to make the necessary uh, you know, amendments to where, where we might think that we need, uh, we need, uh, we need uh, to strengthen our governance uh, realm. Yeah. In fact, it is clear that the governors, uh, or go county governments need more resources. Uh, this, uh, it Haven't they gotten more resources up above and beyond the 15% threshold that the government <laughs> argues that they've gone up to 43%? Uh, that is based on some last, uh, what do you call this? They audited call it accounts. Audited accounts. Yes. And these last audited accounts don't reflect the true picture. Uh, but when, in our own assessment, it is under 15%. When you, when you pick it on, on the current 
current existing uh, budget uh, budgetary expenditure estimates. So I think uh, that that then therefore means that uh, there are a lot of functions also that have been devolved. Mm -hmm. That's what maybe what we underestimated. Most of the functions actually service industries have been transferred to the counties, and therefore if for counties to be able to discharge that mandate, we need to we need to give them more resources. But one thing that also goes hand in hand with these resources, we are tying we are tightening the nose of accountability. You know this uh, realm that uh, <coughs> it's uh, by by particularly the Jubilee Coalition that the governors are unaccountable. They fail to account for the monies. So we we are making sure that we we strengthen senates, we strengthen other institutions mm -hmm. that uh, that deal with devolution and accountability oversight of these resources, so that there's values worth for uh, money's worth for 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 the kinds of resources that shall be devolved. Okay, and how is this going to really a Kenyan watching and saying how is this going to help my life at this particular point? Shouldn't we be focusing on other things? We've had another school of thought that says this will cost so much more money and we're getting into an election which a lot of money as well should we be going that direction right now and what is that benefit to i think that, that's that, that, that's a bit uh, for those who who, who who do not want to see this referendum succeed mm -hmm. we'll tell you all types of things we, lo we lose a lot of money in wastage in terms of corruption we've just seen it in fact there's a discussion we had a, sh a short while ago but i not to mean that uh, we should not be uh, astute when it comes to public expenditure but i think when we we're talking about about some of the areas that need strengthening mm -hmm. i think it is value for money because uh, we, if we allow, allow the country to run away in the kind of situation that it is in, and uh, we know that it does not, it's, it's no longer about the good senses of Jubilee that can remedy this. Therefore, we want the people to speak to some of these so issues. So in this particular case, for instance, the situation we find ourselves in, runaway corruption, how would this proposed changes You know, these help? proposed changes came, well, well, came in far before. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we talked about we, we, this runaway, these issues uh, now hit uh, more serious headlines, and we, we realize the depth of corruption. But I, I think... Uh, when you talk about more monies uh, to devolve functions, it means that uh, you're going to strengthen devolve units. We're going to, uh, and, but you're uh, saying that money already in counties being misappropriated. But I, I so told you, we also, and I'm telling you, mm -hmm. we have also strengthened the oversight mechanisms okay. for county governments because it goes hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Then we have issues of inclusivity. Kenyans have been talking about ethnicity. We need to ensure that we have a broader representation and matrix, not only at the national level but also at the county level, so that we then don't transfer this ethnicity and bad practices or mannerisms to to county units so that uh, we still continue to have faith in devolution. For us, it is uh, fundamental also as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a coalition to ensure that we go into the elections with an IBC that enjoys popular support and credibility across the board. Because what we, we believe if uh, that, that the timelines were to run starting today, when we submit the, the signatures, we should be able, be able to have the referendum at least by July, August of next year. Mm -hmm. That's about within about nine months. So that's well before the next elections. And we want to see that we make it, we have a transition when it comes to the electoral body, the IBC, so that if in case we go into an election in 2017, then we have a more credible uh, independent and boundaries, uh, electoral and boundaries commission that is acceptable across the board, that it does not enjoy varied support, that it has a lot more approval rating in areas that are seen to be government and all those areas that are seen so to be So do you have opposition. confidence in IBC because they're the ones who will be conducting this process? So do you not feel feel all those issues you have with them will manifest in a way or the other you know, to uh, disrupt you know this, this is a course. this is a very easy election to manage mm. it's a yes or no answer do you agree with the referendum bill? Yes. Do you, don't you agree with the referendum bill? No. Uh, and therefore, the, 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 the hierarchy of, 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 and the magnitude of elections that are handled is, more, is, more, is less than the six ballots you have in every polling station. And I think, um, I, I, I do believe at that time also we are putting in mechanisms so that we have a transparent mechanism of, uh, of how this, the relay of this uh, results is done and the conduct of this election. So I think uh, this could be a pay... Uh, 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 so you trust uh, IBC to do a good job on this one? If... if they do a good job. Some of them then might reclaim the position. Because you're telling hold, them, do hold. a good job in helping us get you out of office. Yeah, it's a contradiction of sorts. But uh, I think it, it, it's, the, it's the kind of stalemate that we're in. Yeah. That we, we now have to still face with the same institution, which we are trying to, to ensure that, uh, you know, by the next election, it has been sufficiently evolved. Or, or, or revolutionize to be able to, to, to dispense of a, yeah. of, the fair, of a fair playing field. Then there are those who look at this as just a campaign that has started early. You found a cause to you know latch on and push forward so that you have something keeping you going up until 2017. I think the opposition has its own obligations to do what it thinks is best for this country. And at whatever time that comes up is, is immaterial for us mm -hmm. in the sense that we do realize our responsibilities uh, towards the new constitution is, is attendant to the fact that we needed to have a broader uh, you know, uh, area, areas of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of participation for the people. And uh, 
we, we tried the dialogue issue and it did not work. So if the dialogue issue did not work, then we are left with uh, one constitutional avenue to push it uh, through through referendum. Okay. And, I, and, I, and, I, and I, unfortunately, yes, it might be, be construed that way, in that particular way, but this, this is a conversation we started a long, uh, time, a long ago. time ago, so, so therefore it's yeah. not, it cannot necessarily be simply narrowed into that uh, you know, uh, realm of uh, politics. Uh, briefly break it down for us. So it goes to the IBC for verification of those signatures. What else needs to happen? IBC has them? up to three months. Yeah. Up to three months. It can take less. It cannot take more. Up to three months to be able to verify the signatures mm -hmm. and, 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 and ensure that the bill uh, conforms to the referendum questions. Right. You know, we had four broad referendum questions, uh, devolution, uh, uh, land, uh, inclusivity, mm -hmm. and IBC. So it, it has to ensure that that bill conforms with it. Mm -hmm. Then this bill is taken to uh, the county assemblies. County assemblies have up to three months also to pass this bill in the various 47 county assemblies. Uh, and you have to gain a majority of the county and assemblies. And you're confident you will? Uh, so far, we have, I think uh, we can comfortably state in our projections that we'll gain at least 29 county assemblies. Okay. Uh, and then uh, on, the, on account of that, then we have three months at the, at the, at the national parliament. That cumulatively is nine months. Mm. So February, if we were in November, then we're talking about uh, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, June July, July, August. August. So therefore, we are likely to go for that referendum around August, September. Around August. Thank you so much sir, for joining us. Hassan Omar is Senator Mombasa County, but also the Secretary General with the Wiper Party for being with us and breaking it down uh, for us on that uh, story. We'll definitely be following to see the submission of the signatures. And the rally, you said there'll be a rally t later today? Later today at uh, Masinde uh, Muliro uh, Grounds at okay. Madare Constituency. All right, and mm -hmm. we'll be watching that as well.